Google just dropped this massive news, which they created an open source protocol for an AI agent's economy. And it's built on blockchain. And this is not just a tech news, it's just not something that, ah, yeah, cool, they did it. No, no, this is huge. And this is about the, your future. It's a future of how those AI agents are gonna work together. So, in this video today, we are gonna look into the problem that this protocol tried to solve, the uh, business model and currency connected to it, the alternative business model that we can build with this technology, but also the risk connected to, 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 the, to the technology. So, before we start, let's, uh, let, I want to explain a little bit who, who I am. So I've been working for the last three years, every day, on every project, on everything I've done with AI. This is because I wanted to learn and become an expert and see what are the limits, but also because I wanted to build my own AI. And, uh, but in, since 2013, when I discovered Bitcoin, I got fascinated about that technology. So I've been implementing and using that technology for, uh, for, for, for any startup that I did since then. The point here was to, for me to learn how to use it, but also then I become a consultant but, and uh, uh, I designed token economy for other company, other startups. Now, this is what I've done, this is me, but let's look at uh, what Google is doing. So, the protocol is there to uh, facilitate, uh, remove friction in exchanging values between uh, uh, those different AI agents. So, at the moment, uh, when we talk about moving money on the internet, we me that means we need to go through a, a bank, okay? That means slow, high fee, and uh, in theory, a bank should be authorized by a human. Okay, so we as a human, we need to authorize it, not an AI can do it by itself. So this is the friction that this protocol is removing, but it's also bring a lot of uh, possibilities. Now, because it's gonna be on the blockchain, we have some amazing advantages. Before we look into the advantages, let's understand what is, uh, what's, uh, Google is doing. So Google partner with Coinbase, which is a US-based uh, company that provide uh, a kind of uh, exchange with uh, in, in the blockchain world. They have their own uh, blockchain, which is called Base, and on this uh, blockchain they can have this uh, a token called the USDC, which is uh, a USD, basically the dollar over the blockchain. This is pegged one to one. So one dollar on the blockchain is equal one dollar in the bank. Okay, so in somehow it's safe, it's secure, and it's stable. What, uh, what this means is now those agents can do this micropayment really fast within a fraction of a second, they can exchange microtransactions. So let's look at in the future how this uh, could uh, work. Let's say I have my own agent, an agent that run on my mobile phone, my computer, my server, whatever it is, okay? This is mine. It doesn't belong to anybody. It's the only one that I trust. But then, because it run on my computer, it's not really powerful. What I need is to rent, for example, another agent or a, 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 a team of agents to work on my business. Or maybe I need to uh, give more computing power to, to my agent or buy a service or whatever. Okay, that is, in, in somehow, my agent is going to have a wallet which is this digital currency and that can change and pay automatically without asking me every time the, the permission, without paying massive fee and be extremely fast and efficient. This is the problem to solve. Okay, I'm talking about this about my a, a personal use, but this is, can be done with company, okay? So a company can have, uh, for example, their own system, but sometimes they can rent some specific uh, uh, specialized agents from another company to do some work for them. This is beautiful, first of all, and is, uh, that's why it's massive, because it creates a new economy and, uh, and give value to those agents that maybe you are, pro, you are creating. So let's understand uh, the, the business model behind uh, this. So uh, Google create this uh, protocol that is completely open. Okay, it's uh, open source, you can fork it, you can change it, you can uh, uh, build on it, and it's not fixed to one single blockchain. So even though it's gonna start with the base, the blockchain from Coinbase, 
it can actually be implemented on almost every single blockchain. It's simple to implement and uh, the protocol is how to actually move those, uh, those tokens. But in somehow there is something else that we need to look into. Because the idea of, uh, okay, there is a service here to offer, an AI agent to offer a service and I need the service, I pay for this service. This is the old model, just done uh, faster and cheaper. But blockchain offer something else. It is offer smart contracts. Smart contracts are a way to program money. Okay, so let's say, for example, I'll give you this example, which is also a really good business uh, to build. So let's say I need to buy a specific computer, okay, and a specific model, exactly that one. I can ask my agent to put on the market the fact that I'm looking for this, uh, uh, for this computer. Other agents can look and find me the best deal for it. The one that finds the best deal, I'm gonna get paid. So my agent's gonna put the amount of money that are required to buy, so other agents know that the money are there, so the work is worth doing. Then the one that wins, the, the, the find the best, best deal, are gonna receive the money and send me the computer. Or even better, can send me the computer and then the money get released. Okay, that is the power of uh, the smart contract. The fact that you can trust the software to operate without the intervention of human. And you can program this, now that was a simple system, but you can program this in a really complex way. For example, I, for example, when a track is played on Spotify, instead of waiting the regular label to pay me and, and so on, Spotify to pay the regular label, regular label to pay the artist, the artist to pay whatever other people that work for them. The idea is, you listen to the song, you get one cent, or maybe even less, to get played for that song, and that, that money gets split automatically with the record label, the artist, the musician that works there, the producers, whatever is, is being part of that project. That is programmable, and it's beautiful, fast, cheap, doable, and it's amazing. Okay, but... Let's look into another aspect. So what's the old business model? So in the old business model, we have to simplify these three elements, okay? The client, the customers, the business, uh, the business and the investors, okay? So three, these three elements are not aligned. They don't want the same thing. So you as a client, what you want is the cheapest possible uh, price for the best value possible. The company has a different incentive, which is to make as much money out of you. So it wants to offer the lowest quality product possible that you are willing to buy for the highest price uh, possible that you are willing to pay. This allows them to have a large margin. The investor, instead, wants to extract as much money as possible from the company. <laughs> that, that if you think about it, this is crazy, okay? No one of them was the same thing. They're not aligned. Then, okay, through marketing, through ideas, whatever, you can try to align this thing. But if you simplify, this is the reality. Now, in, uh, with blockchain technology, this can be completely changed. Because let's look, for example, at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the first uh, product that happened on, uh, been created with this technology and is about resolving the problem of exchanging value. How it works? That every single person that owns Bitcoin wants the price of Bitcoin to go up. That's all we want. There's no other thing. Okay, we want the price of Bitcoin going up. That is completely aligned with every single person in that network. Okay, speculator can say, no, I want to go down, so I can buy more and then the price goes up. But the idea is that you want the price to go up all the time, constantly, forever. Okay, that is everybody's dream. Everybody's aligned on this. Now, let's bring this to, so you, you already can see that this is a, an alignment of interest. But let's look into uh, how a business actually can work. So when you go to a supermarket, you go there, you buy your things, and then you, you know how it works, right? You buy, you buy your goods and you, you, you spend your money. That is the business model. But let's look into this Web3 way of uh, doing the, the business model. So what is happening is when I buy something from a supermarket, I get some token as a reward, loyalty token. Okay, those loyalty tokens are not just uh, numbers, just uh, okay, a main coin, boom, 
token for nothing. No, this loyalty token can be can give me voting powers, for example, inside the, the supermarket. Voting power means voting for which product to have in the in, in that they can sell, where at which price, for example, whatever I, I worry whatever things they want to vote about, okay? The aesthetics, the logo, whatever, okay? So you become part of this. Also, you can get shares. So earning from the, I mean, the token can represent the share and earning in percentage of how many tokens you have, uh, get earning from the, the kind of dividend from the earning of uh, the supermarket. And that's already just these two simple thing, okay? Makes you, want to go to that supermarket instead of another. So on one, you become a, a kind of co-owner, you make money out of it, and you will feel like, okay, this is part of my business now, and uh, I'm gonna keep going there, but I'm gonna also invite people to go there. And every single one, the owner, the business owner, me as a client, the investor, everybody wants the token to go up in value. This is the new kind of business model that we can build. Now, this is a simplification in the sense that this is clear to understand, but also we can do much, much more. Uh, but this gives you an idea of the direction where we are going and why this is important. Because when a supermarket like this starts, there is no competitor for that one. That one is gonna win on everybody else. So that is the only direction that we're gonna see. There's no way out. Now, because it's happening, because we had this with blockchain, okay, but now it's happening with the AI and Google, so major uh, company are joining in. So it's now, it's only a question of time. You see the regulation are changing, especially in some countries, okay, in some others it's, uh, it's not getting better. But Bitcoin and crypto are more uh, common now, they are better understood, some banks accept it, so things are getting ready for this technology. And now this technology is the only technology that makes sense for AI. I mean, this is the, clearly this, this is the direction. I, uh, the last thing about, I want to say about this business model, this is not something that uh, it's, uh, I'm just improvising, okay? Like I said, I've been, I've been doing this for many years, but also I've been building Resonant OS, which is an open source uh, uh, operation system for an AI, for your personal AI, and this resonant has, has its own token economy. I'm gonna link both in the description so you can have a look and uh, read more. I'm gonna also link uh, a blog post uh, where explain uh, the, this thing that we talked during this, uh, this video in uh, details. So now the last bit is the risks. So what are the risks here? The risks is, are the ones that we already see in the blockchain uh, uh, community. So the risk are the scams, okay? <laughs> that's, is, that's the risk. So the risk is that there's gonna be so many projects, so many tokens, so many ideas, and it will be difficult to understand which one has value, okay? Especially because there is this greed feeling that say, okay, that is a main coin, does have any value, but people are putting money there. If I get in early and get out early, I mean, at the right moment, then I can become rich in a short time. Okay, so that greed, that, uh, these possibilities are also making a lot of scams and a lot of uh, wrong investment. So now, I, this requires maturity, okay, <laughs> which I understand which is not easy to gain. Because if you have not done anything, any investment, any trading, anything like this, it's really difficult to un fully understand what is a scam, what is not, when is a scam, when is not, how can I be sure that it's not a scam, and so on. So, it's, I'm, I'm not saying that it's gonna, that's, I mean, this is part of, this is why we're calling risk, okay? The problem here is, for because of these smaller uh, company that are gonna run some scams, and because of the high risk that is connected to these scams, what is gonna happen? There's gonna be regulation. Regulation means uh, uh, higher cost, and that means that some startups, some project, some uh, also country are not gonna be able to uh, face the, those costs. And that is again we go into the dynamic where some uh, large corporate can afford the, the bureaucracy, can afford the, the regulation, and they're gonna make, uh, take the, the big pie. 
So here, as uh, always, the, f the people that move first has a better advantage. The people that don't scam is gonna live, uh, uh, I mean, live longer in the, in the, in the real sense. But they're gonna stay for longer. Uh, first of all, this is, sorry, every time that we talk about finance, uh, blockchain and so on, I need to remember everybody, this is not financial advice, okay? I'm telling you what I learned and what I would do. Uh, but in building, yeah, moving first uh, is a key. Understanding those token economy and strategy is another really important point. But also understanding what historically is being recognized as a scam. So because if you do a certain uh, token economy, people think, okay, this is a high risk of a scam. So they're not going to invest. Because historically, they showed that they were uh, turned out to be scam or easy to be uh, taken advantage of. So building this new business model are extremely complicated. It's possible. And uh, probably if there is demand, we can do some videos about And we can do, uh, for sure, I'm going to share something on the, on the newsletter. So subscribe. And, and if you're interested for having consultancy, of course, it's possible to organize uh, that one as well. But think about this business model are uh, what we need to be focused on, okay? It's not just about build a new AI agent. It's a build an AI agent with an economy behind. And that makes the difference. It's not just, uh, ah, this is a great service, I get the token for it. Because like I said, the supermarket that doesn't offer this loyalty token is gonna get out. A your AI, if it doesn't have a token economy that makes sense, you're gonna be out. So the competition now is not just about the best AI, it's the best AI with the right token economy. Thanks for staying until now. Like and subscribe and see you next time. Ciao.